Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. We haven't spoken in a long time. Solo developing a game is pretty rough and I definitely needed a break, which is why I took time off game dev after grinding on this project since summer 2022. I've also been cutting content that I initially planned for the game because I eventually want to release it and there's still so much to do. In the meantime, I've been playing the Resident Evil 4 remake and had a blast. Easily one of the best, if not the best, remake I've played so far. The game also was a great fountain of inspiration, but more on that later. Let me give you a quick update on the current state of the game. I've been mentioning in my last devlog that I now want to start creating the actual game, which is why I spent most of my time working on the first level prototype, the control level in this case, which is the first of three laboratory levels. Since I absolutely hate the look and feel of Pro Builder, I used another free asset called Realtime CSG. I don't get why this one doesn't get more attention because it totally kills in terms of layouting levels. It lets you create any kind of shape while sticking to a grid making coherent level design very easy. You can also manipulate UVs in various ways and it even supports boolean operations such as addition, subtraction and overlapping, making changes extremely simple. It really is the best tool for building levels in Unity in my opinion. Lore wise, this laboratory level is used by the staff to spend its time during work cycles. You'll find several free time activities around here such as a gym, a lounge, a canteen and cabins for the staff to sleep in. There's also a lot of infrastructure on this level such as a cargo bay paired with a storage area, a control room which is used to manage the whole facility and elevators which lead deeper into the laboratory. Everything still looks pretty raw but I want to get the level layout right at first before I start making it look and feel good. The whole level is freely roamable with only doors limiting where the player can go. The player follows a set path through the lab which is defined by different objectives but he might as well just explore different locations himself on the way to the next objective. For navigation I added several guideposts that inform the player where certain doors or hallways lead. I also plan to add landmarks later on which are very distinct looking objects or camera angles who help the player to navigate. I've also started to lay out another lab level which is located way deeper in the lab and marks the climax of the story, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. I really enjoyed the small puzzle sections in the Resident Evil 4 remake which gave a nice gameplay contrast to the regular action loaded run and gun. These puzzles are an essential gameplay element to the whole survival horror genre, so I decided to add a puzzle to my game and see if it would fit. I quickly realized that it feels like a great addition, which gives the game a bit more depth. For the control level, I've been concepting two puzzles so far. One where the player has to activate four fuses, where every fuse is logically connected to another. And another one, where the player has to find a pin code to access a staff cabin. I think they turned out pretty cool and I will likely add a handful of other small puzzles over the span of the game. Now, there's still a bit of work to be done here before I hand the level off to friends who will give their opinion on it. I've also been thinking about opening a discord so you guys can help playtest the game slash level. What do you think? Would you be in for a Discord server where we can gather and chat about the project? As you can tell, there's also a new notification UI element which informs the player about new objectives. It's coded pretty modular, which means I can easily adjust the text and color of the notification. I plan to use this to inform the player about various stuff like completed objectives and so on. You might as well have noticed the new look of the game. I haven't been very satisfied with the overall art style yet. The game mostly looked like a generic low poly game. It wasn't interesting to look at nor distinct enough, which is why I'm experimenting with an art style similar to Deep Rock Galactic. The guys over at Ghost Ship Games use noise based smoothness maps for their low poly models. 
I wanted to give this approach a shot, so I quickly set up a custom shader in Shader Graph and wrote a small external tool to help me generate interesting grayscale textures. The result is pretty interesting. I really like that art direction and I think it definitely looks more interesting than flat colors and I will keep experimenting with different noise textures and intensities. What do you guys think of the new look? Does it fit the game? There is another nice addition that found its way into the game. I was scrolling through Twitter one day and saw this cool shader effect that simulates dissolving smoke. I paired this shader with a trail renderer at the end of the gun barrel and set up simple emission logic and voila, you get a cool looking barrel smoke after a shot was fired. Definitely makes the guns feel more present, I like it. That's it for the update guys. Let me know if you'd be interested to help playtest the levels. Also, you can support me for free by simply adding the game to your wishlist. Thank you! Keep experimenting and as always, don't spill your beer.